Hi, welcome back. I'm your host Shweta and you are listening to my podcast Art, Faith and Stories. In my first episode, I talked about how we are uniquely created by creator God and we all are creative people and artists by default. Today, I'm going to tell you my story, how I realized that I have an artist within me. And for that, let me take you back in time in 2007. city mumbai i was carrying my second daughter cherry due to some complications in my pregnancy doctors advised me complete bed rest for some time and during these times i did lot of introspection and had some honest conversations with god during my quiet times which i am going to share with you after a little while for now i want you all to come along with me to know what was my emotional state at that time during this phase of my life i often get random bouts of depression where i would go deep in my thoughts thinking about my purpose my existence and what am i here for is there something more to me i felt a vacuum within me as if i was missing something in life life was not enough for me Dear friends, have you ever felt like this in your life too? When you are doing life morning to night again and again and that cycle keeps repeating day after day, but deep down in your heart you long for something more. But you are clueless of what it is. You feel empty. You ask yourself, am I made for something more? What's that something more for me? exactly the same way i was clearly confused about myself nothing would reach the deepest core of my heart there was happiness there were good things happening around and good relationships surrounding me but nothing would touch the real me inside as if i was still to be found and explored As I mentioned earlier I was clearly confused so I blamed my pregnancy for all these crazy and unexplainable thoughts within me and called them mood swings but this desire to know about me and exploring my dimensions to the very extent had become my ultimate goal then I happened to lay my hands on a book called purpose driven life which was written by Rick Warren Wait. This was not by chance at all. This was God placed. A lot of my questions were answered by reading it. I kept on reading this book many times, chewing upon every word and gain perspective on a lot of things. One thing that this Rick talks about in his book is that if we are God's creation, then he has the manual for our life. and we need to ask him how we need to go about it how we can fulfill our purpose what has he created me for hooray so by then i knew what i had to do next i was excited that i am moving ahead towards unveiling my life's purpose but for that i needed to co-partner with our father our god almighty who created me So the next step was to talk talk to my creator and ask for my manual my purpose my joy and the plan or you may call blueprint for my life I know it may be sounding very abstract to some but only faith and belief makes this happen god talks yes God talks only if we quieten ourselves and with deep desire and belief sit and allow him to speak to us he opens the eyes and ears of our hearts and in the stillness of our hearts he speaks and when he speaks you'll know you'll know it for sure i too sat stilled myself and asked and he spoke 
He spoke in my heart. He spoke what was missing in my life. You know what he told me? He told me that I needed to tell people about his love, his beauty, and his goodness in my life. And also that he loves to talk to us. Oh, now this was a loaded message for me. For months I hid this message in my heart and I had no clue how to do this. No talking happened during this time. God chose to be silent and allowed me to keep thinking about this for long. During this time, I spent good time reading my scripture and spent quality time in praying, learned to still myself more in his presence. Also learned that God reveals himself to us little by little. Obedience at each step takes us further into his presence. So I wrote that statement I got from God few months back in my diary and started pondering on it day and night. One morning Cherry woke me up by playing in my womb and I caressed her by placing my hand on my big tummy and soothed her to sleep again. And I too sitting by the side of my bed went into a calm sleep. And once again I entered into a conversation with God where I asked him how should I tell people about your love beauty and goodness I'm not a public speaker I'm not an evangelist I'm not a theologian I have no means or medium to do this how do I express my love for you and he replied trust me I am with you. These words are still fresh in my mind, in my memory. When I woke up that morning, I was so sure about what I heard. It was real for me. I again wrote those words in my diary. This voice had made me so confident and positive. These assuring words filled me with joy. Then again few days passed and I started questioning again. I trusted God, but hows, whens and whats encompassed me. I was yet again clueless. Then one day Kashish came to me. My eldest daughter. She was 4 at that time. She came to me for her art project and needed my help i helped her finish that assignment and just simply asked her to give me few pencils and paper and i felt like doing something on it but had no previous planning in my mind that day when i drew and sketched i never felt so satisfying ever this desire started growing bigger and bigger in me i shifted from paper to canvas smaller canvases to bigger canvases and my art journey started the more i spent time talking to god the more i wanted to paint and express since then i always stand in front of my blank canvas and god helps me to choose colors and we flow together to create newbies i had no art background no professional degree i never went to any art college but i knew that there was something amazing god is placing for me in the future and slowly and gradually i started walking on the path he paved for me he made me sensitive to forms colors and textures all around me i started using everything as tools to create textures that would help me express thoughts ideas and feelings appropriately the more i painted the more i wanted to paint i still feel like a brush in god's hand that is creating a beautiful art on my life's canvas 
it's only his creativity that flows through me and all appreciation belongs to him over these years i worked hard upon my skill and god gave me excellence in my technique and presentation i believe this abstract form and textures is a form selected by god for me people stand in front of my artworks in eager expectation for me to speak speak about them and there god helps me to speak and share the story behind he not only made me an expressionist who can paint but also an encourager who can speak an appreciator who can come alongside and an inspirer who can help you realize your true potential dear listeners few things that i would like to say to you today if you believe that god created you only god has your manual ask for your manual ask pray talk god does speak the real happiness and wholeness comes from doing what you are made for so here we come at the end of this episode so please do share your thoughts with me in the website link below and i have also added the details of the book i mentioned during the episode in the show notes below thanks for listening see you next saturday with another episode till then stay tuned stay blessed